Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is the Cheese Crusted California Breakfast Burrito. Well today we are making a truly special breakfast burrito. This burrito has got me holding all other burritos to a higher standard and it's all inspired by these folks out in the Los Angeles area known as Low Key Burritos uh, who I've been following on Instagram. They pop up all over the place cooking their burritos, crusting them in cheese, various different fillings. I drool over the Instagram daily, so I figured I gotta give this a shot myself. Now today we're gonna be smoking up a tri-tip roast for our main protein for the filling. So let's get started by seasoning that up and getting it onto the yoder. Now we're working with a Creekstone Farms Master Chef. This is a prime tri-tip roast. These things usually come pretty well trimmed up. I might need to do just a little bit of work to them. So we'll peel off any of this silver skin here on the surface. We've got a little bit of meat on the edge here, but you can see that it's got some really thick stuff underneath it that we'd like to take off. So we'll go ahead and lose that. It's not a lot of meat quantity wise. That way we don't have to worry about chewing on all that silver skin. We're just removing any hard stuff or any of these thick membranes that we don't want to be chewing on later. So now that that's trimmed up, we're going to hit it with just a little bit of hot sauce for binder. You could use just about anything you like, but we're going to put this jalapeno vice in our burritos later anyway, so we might as well put a little on the surface of the tri-tip. It's really just there for a binder, for something for this rub to grab onto, other than the cold meat itself. We're gonna hit this with our California tri-tip seasoning. So this has kind of got all those classic Santa Maria flavors, salt, pepper. There's a, there's a little bit of a actual pepper, not just black pepper, but bell pepper, onion, garlic, all those good savory flavors. Kind of soaking up everything that's dropped onto the board. That's all already kind of wet and attached, so this is ready to go straight onto the smoker. And today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill. We're running it at 250 degrees currently as we smoke our tri-tip. So we're gonna throw this up on the half depth shelf on the top here. This is kind of a unique setup. So we do have the diffuser door removed and you can see down here there's a griddle in place because that's where we're gonna do a lot of our burrito work later. But even with that door removed, this is kind of acting as a diffuser plate. So we're still getting indirect heat on the actual tri-tip. We're gonna put a probe right there in the center of that deepest part so we can monitor the temperature and watch as this comes up to about 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Now while we wait for that tri-tip to come up to temp, soak up that smoke, we're gonna do a little knife work for the rest of the ingredients. So we start by slicing some onion for a griddled onions. We're using red ones today, but you could use yellow or white, whatever you like. You're gonna need about a half an onion per burrito. Don't have to go super thin, about a quarter inch or so. Also going inside the burrito is some avocado. We don't need to do much for these right now. We're just gonna cut them in half and get that pit out of there. We can kind of prep these. Just put a few dices in them. So we're just gonna squeeze these right into the burrito a little later. We'll just stick them back together so they don't brown too much in the meantime. Now we also need some thin sliced jalapeno rounds. These are going to go actually on the crust, on the cheese crust. So we don't want them too thick because they don't cook for a real long time on the griddle. I plan for about 8 to 12 slices on each burrito. But of course you can adjust that to your preference. Now of course we're going to need some eggs as well for our breakfast burritos. I'm planning on about two per burrito. And I want to get these really nicely mixed up here, so I'm using an immersion blender. We're not going to whip these until we start to change the texture or anything, but I just want that mixture completely smooth. And then we're going to transfer it to a squeeze bottle just to make things easier when we get to the griddle. 
So the tri-tip has been on for about an hour and a half now. It's come up to 125 on the internal temperature. And honestly, if, if this wasn't gonna hit the griddle later for our, our breakfast burritos, I'd go ahead and give it a sear on the griddle now just to get some texture on the outside. But because we're gonna add that later, we can just pull it off here, wait for it to kind of rest and cool a bit, and then we'll dice it up. All right, so we don't need the second shelf anymore. We're gonna need to crank up the temperature of the grill. We can get this probe out of here. We're gonna turn this up to 450 degrees. Now there's a couple more ingredients that we need to get on the grill, even as the temperature is climbing, to prepare those to be ready to go into the burritos. Uh, the first of which, we've got those onions we sliced up earlier. We're gonna start cooking those down on the griddle. We're also gonna do a potato element, and today we're using tater tots to get the maximum crunch. So I've got a pound of tater tots, and we're just gonna take it up a level here by drizzling on some melted beef tallow. We'll give these a toss in the tallow. So these will kind of fry in this little bit of extra fat that we're adding. And let's get this spread out. Hit them with a little bit of seasoning. We're gonna use the same California tri-tip seasoning that we used on our tri-tip, but this time it's the stuff that I've broken down in the spice grinder super fine, so it'll just work its way into all those little crevices of the tater tot. Far side of the grill here, so we're still not getting super direct heat. But then on this griddle here, throw down just a little bit more tallow. 30 seconds or so to melt and then we'll throw our onions on top. We start to break these up with our spatula, hit them with a little bit of that kosher sea salt. That's gonna help some of that moisture, draw that moisture out. We're looking to soften these and get just a little bit of color on them. For now, we'll close up the lid and just let them start to cook down. I've been working these onions for about 15 minutes now. I'm liking where the color's at, the texture. So we're gonna pull these off. So our tots are looking really nice on the bottom. That nice crust frying up in that tallow. Just kind of give these a toss around get some texture on both sides. Might as well go ahead and give this a spin as well while we're at it. Let those go for just a little bit longer while we go chop up our tri-tip. So tri-tips rested up. I'm gonna cut this with the grain first here, and then we're gonna go across the grain and a bite. What's going to be bite-sized pieces, we'll start by slicing, then we'll dice. Beautiful pink center. Smells smoky. Mission accomplished. So this tri-tip's got a lot of great flavor on it now. It needs a little bit more texture. So that's why we're dicing it down into bite-sized pieces. It's gonna be a better texture in the burrito overall. But also it allows us a lot more surface area that we can crisp up on the griddle. So those tater tots are looking great. Look at that crunch on there. Well, it's time we bring this all together and we're gonna be working in batches. So we're gonna hit the griddle, but I gotta show you the rest of the setup before we get started. So on the right side of the grill, we got a rack set up for some indirect heat. And this is a towel soaked in warm water. We've got all of our tortillas in here. They're kind of steaming up, getting soft and pliable. Now on the griddle, we we'll to start with tallow once again. And we gotta get a crisp on our tri-tip. So we're gonna pretend like we've got two burritos going at the same time. We really only need probably about a half to three quarters of a cup of meat for each one. And we just want to let that get some crisp on it. So now once we get some color on one side, give it a little toss. And this is starting to warm through and get a little brown on it. So we can also add now our hash browns. We're just going to kind of break those up, chop them in. 
Next we've got those onions. We want to warm those through again. And we'll go ahead and add our eggs, which we're just going to estimate a couple of eggs a piece. Right around the outside here. And that's going to immediately start cooking because it's so thin. We'll work it right into the rest of the filling. Move that one to the back so it can kind of chill out a little bit. And then up front here, we're gonna start putting these burritos together. So this is a double tortilla situation, two 10 inch. This is the old school mission style. Burrito lasts you all day. Take our filling. Need a little cheese. We've got the queso chihuahua today, which is uh, my, one of my favorite Mexican melting cheeses. Uh, you'd put it somewhere between, say, like a Monterey Jack. And uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to place, I guess. Somewhere between a Monterey Jack and a mozzarella. So you hit with some of your favorite salsa, red, and then a little jalapeno vice hot sauce. Last thing we gotta do, squeeze half of an avocado on here and roll it up. All right, there's one. Let's put the next one together before we throw them back on for the cheese crust. Okay, so Chihuahua. We're doing the, uh, this is a fire roasted green chili salsa. Green hot sauce. And the avocado squeeze. And do our best to get it all contained. Now for the real magic, the jalapeno cheese crust. We're gonna layer these thin sliced jalapeno rounds all the way across our griddle. Of course, this part's optional if you wanna keep it a little more mild and you can go with as many or as few as you want. Next, we've got a blend of shredded cheddar cheeses. This is the stuff you wanna buy like in the bag already shredded. You won't hear me say that very often, but that this is exactly what it's perfect for. Probably takes about three quarters of a cup to get all the way down to the far end of the griddle. And then immediately, the stuff starts crusting up on the griddle and we're able to position our burritos all the way to this front end We got a little separation here. And then we're gonna give it a flip. And let that cheese crust just coat the outside. All crusted up, slide these off, and they're ready to serve. Well, let's slice into this thing, check it out. Oh yeah. A lot of goodness in there. That cheese just getting melted. Let's get a taste. Woo! What a crunch. Texture's fantastic. Smoky beef, nothing wrong with that. Still super tender, but there's texture inside now. The potatoes, the tri-tip, it's all complemented by that cheese that's oozing everywhere. And then the avocado, man. I don't know why we don't put avocado in every breakfast item, to be honest. It's all fantastic. Such a hearty, 
filling burrito. Honestly, this would last you all day. And honestly, I'd be proud of you if you finished it in one sitting. It might be hard to put it down. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.